Okay, so the motor is mounted. And when the duct work is on, it'll look similar to this one, but a little bit different. This will eventually be driven from the rear for the drones and from the front so that you can make a motor mount setting in any kind of F35 or F22. You could put two of them and you'll be able to basically just make room for this duct within the model. The guy I want to make a plane for this is the Build CAD Fly guy. He's got, he does awesome fusion work way beyond what I know right now. I'm gonna have to go through his tutorials, but man, if he could do an F-22, so I could put two of these in and scale it up, not, not real big, but enough to where it would fit the engines and still be a relatively smaller aircraft. You know, it doesn't have to be like 11 feet long. <laughs> the idea is to see what this can do. So this would bolt directly into the cavity of wherever the engine's airflow ducts are. And then this, if it's a, if it's a F-35 single engine, then of course these would have be the mounting points that you'd put, slide it into the body and then run some bolts in here through sort of kind of like where the duct starts. And then you got your outward flow out the back. I would really like it if he built a plane for me <laughs> just so I could try it out. Cause I mean, I love the way the guy does his work. Uh, I've got to go through his videos. I just haven't done it because I was going to build a, a model myself. Uh, but I'm not real good at the whole um, 3D sketching. It confuses me sometimes, throws me off. And then sometimes I got a line that's like an infinite number of millimeters away from where I was supposed to be. So if you imagine, I mean, this thing is incredibly easy to turn. So I'm hoping the nylon six gear is going to survive this run and give me uh, some decent results after I get the ducting done for this. Now, the ducting that I'm putting on this is specifically for testing on the stand. And the other ducting that I've designed for this is looks similar to this ducting for the drone. So you don't really need the ducting for this system. You can basically build your plane around this and you're good to go. That's the whole idea. A lot of people are asking, why aren't you building your own motors? I'm trying to do stuff with off the shelf components. So when I'm done with everything I'm doing, I can send out those CAD files to you guys and you can just have a blast. Use the motor you want. Use whatever you want, but it's all off the shelf and it's all ready to go. 